Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the shop. So today we're finally gonna give you a one year update slash review of the wool wax application that we applied to the shop truck around October of last year in 2019. So this truck's been through a full winter, full spring rain, stuff like that, full summer with heat and everything. Of course, plenty of car washes and now we're heading into uh, deep into fall here with all the rain that comes with fall. So I have not touched it since last year when I applied it. Uh, so we're gonna take a look and see how well it held up. And the idea behind wool wax over fluid film is that it's thicker and it's gonna stay on longer. And of course came in that awesome black color. Now I know recently fluid film did come out with their own black version of fluid film. Uh, but we, of course, are going to concentrate on wool wax in this video and see how well it held up since last year. Now, just like anything else, fluid film, wool wax, anything else, uh, even z bar they tell you to come in annually and reapply, touch up area, stuff like that. So you're going to have to do that either way right around this time of year, you know, beginning of fall. Let's check it out. All right, let's take a look. We're going to start off from the front and just walk it on back to the rear. Let you guys look around and see for yourself if you think this is worth putting on your vehicle. So the first thing you'll notice is that up in these high areas here uh, where it's out of the spray from the road, the areas that where it's harder to spray it on initially, all these nooks and crannies, they've held up very, very well. You can see the frame right here, the cross member. I mean, look at this piece right here. I mean, it's like brand new under here, basically the day I applied it. All these other areas, they held up really, really well. So that's important because you, you know, those areas take a lot longer to apply initially. So you want to reapply those every year. You just want to apply uh, the more open areas like this right here. This will be very easy to reapply the stuff to the wool wax too, and uh, get it touched up on there. So, of course, we have a high wash area right here from the water coming down from the fender liner and the tire spraying around inside of here as it goes down the road when it's wet out. So, of course, it washed off right there. But you can see these other areas are still good to go. So let's keep walking back here, take a look around. And the same thing with the frame. On the in inboard side, you can see it's like brand new still. Even this transmission cross member right here is in really good shape for being so low down uh, to the ground here. Here's the frame on the other side. On the inboard side, some areas right here to touch up. But otherwise, we're doing really, really good. So let's take a look at uh, the back side here by the rockers. You can see it held up very well on the bottom side of the body here and by the rockers on the back side here. You can see it just has some dust and dirt on there but otherwise it held on. And that's really important to get that dust and dirt on. It actually makes the wool wax on that's more liquidy. It makes it more, uh, you know, like a dense, uh, thicker wool wax on it. So it resists wash off when you start getting the dust and dirt on there like that. And it helps out a lot once you get to like, like that dusting on there like that. So let's take a look at the outside of the frame. So of course the outside of the frame is gonna get hit much harder than the inboard side. So you can see up top there, and the body and everything I did, the floor pan looks good. The frame, there is some wash off here after a year, uh, but of course it still has that oily coating on the metal on there. You don't see, you know, big pops of, of rust and all that stuff. It does not harbor the moisture and uh, help the rust grow it actually lets it breathe, but it still nourishes the metal with that oily uh, wool wax substance on there, the lanolin. Same thing all the way back on the sides. Got a little wash in the back here. It looks good to go. You get that dust on there. Like I said, it gets a little thicker and it's good to go. I wish I would have sprayed these shocks on here. Let's look at the back the wheel well you can see up top there it's actually held on really well all that's just dirt on there you can see it gets sprayed up in there so that held up really well the leaf springs good to go differential of course is good to go really good on the back side here and let's check over here and for the spray and wipe on uh, the drive shaft I did certainly seem to hold up quite well. I said spray and wipe on there so it's not too thick, but I wanted to nourish the metal and, and prevent any kind of rust from growing on there. That of course was uh, 
after it initially started rusting, as you see here, it was an after, afterthought, uh, but it, of course, didn't get any worse since I applied it on there. Looks really good still. Let's look at a couple other areas, floor pan there. You can see this area right here, something was hitting it, so of course it all kind of washed away a little bit right in this area. There's water coming down there, same thing right there. Apparently, I never got up in there and finished a few areas of the uh, bed. That's some of the other areas of the bed here that are just really rusted before and looked horrible. Those are holding up pretty good. And then surprisingly back here, I mean, everything back here looks like it's pretty good shape too. Where everything kind of gets flung back here. You got a few touch-ups you got to do there. No big deal. Edge of that right there. A hitch here, bracing. But all this in here looks pretty darn good. So have certain areas like this where you can touch up. So touch ups, as you can see, are much, much faster uh, in the end. So that is about it. I just wanted to give you guys an update, see how well it actually held up on here because I said I would, and I am a man of my word. Uh, so guess what? I'm going to show you the nitty gritty what it actually looks like after a year of driving it on the roads here in Chicago. Held, held up pretty darn good considering it's just a uh, grease basically you're spraying in the bottom side of your vehicle. All right, that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.